Hey Simmers, I'm back with another build tour. Today we are going to have a story to go with the tour. The building before you is the Farnworth Manor. Built by the Patriarch, Jebediah Farnworth. A sea captain of sorts. There were many rumors about him. He lived here with his wife of many years, Petunia, and their daughter, Lorena. Most of the staff did not live in Farnworth Manor. The only individual who lived in the house with them was their butler, a tall, dark man known as Beauregard. Where the story begins is approximately a few months after, sadly, Petunia's death. Not many know why she died. It seemed a little mysterious. Even more mysterious that Jebediah soon married his daughter Lorena's best friend, Elizabeth. Rumors flew through the town that the young Elizabeth was married because she was pregnant with Jebediah's child. It was on a stormy night when the family and the butler vanished. When the maid and the cook arrived for the shift the next day, they found the manor locked, which was peculiar as Beauregard always left the door or in the back, the servant's entrance, unlocked so that they can get in and begin preparing the meals and be ready to serve Jebediah and his family. When they went, they went to the mainland as this building is, this manor is built on an island and came back with the local sheriff. They went in and found the building all but abandoned. There was no sign of a struggle. Everything was still in place. Both Lorena and Elizabeth Jewelry still there. Although a fisherman from in town said he saw a tall masted ship in the harbor that e evening. Could this be related to Jebediah's true job? So what happened to the family? This mystery has never been solved. Was Petunia murdered so that Jebediah could marry his mistress? No one will know. All right, now that I got the story out of the way, uh, this build was basically set up to be a creepy kind of haunted house based after like Disney's haunted house itself. Uh, I used a lot of the creepy gnomes that are shaped like death that are out throughout the place. There's a ghost gnome, as you can see, coming out of like cupboards, the piano, the clock. Um, the upstairs, I completely missed the bathroom, which is the room right beside the nursery. Which, as you can see, the nursery is kind of creepy when you see it. Uh, the entire build was done to look like it's been worn out. I know that the fridge down in the kitchen doesn't fit with the motif, but The Sims doesn't really have any fridge that kind of fit the time period that I was going for, for the story and for the kind of story that I was going for. Uh, the best part I like is the uh, 
paintings that you saw through the house that they change after a while, such as the one turning into a werewolf, the couple's heads disappear, and the one uh, tur woman turning into a vampire. The idea, as you can see, was to make it look decrepit, abandoned, all that stuff. I was quite impressed with it. So until next time, so soon.